souls and blessed friends, what is taking place now is like a slow death, unwinding into this great, vast sense of peace, so light, so filled with heart and deep stillness. The waves of mind still play so much, too much, yet so much less than before. But whether distant feeling, insightful, loud and consuming, or anything in between, when it plays, it is too much, as it brings a feeling of the veil again that covers the pure waters, refreshing and still. But to get these tastes of life, free and pure, is the best blessing to feel and get lost in. One cannot lose vigilance during this transition, for if there is a letting down and simply saying, oh, now it is all done, then one will be carried away again by the mind and its rerouting back to the great dream. Thank God for Guru's compassion, presence and light now and always to guide. Listen and simply give the transmission energy that is like the Ganges in the way it flows, unobstructed, pure, and without illusion. This has been the essential piece to go on this way into something that I had no idea about how to traverse. And I have been in terror so much with it, truly souls. I am not one to embellish this playing out, so, so hard and biting, and putting all to see in your face without a break, and bringing mystic experiences that could truly make one go mad. Yes, it could. And this is why it is said not to play around with this energy of Kali, Kundalini, Holy Spirit, but to respect it and give it time and give it sincerity, honesty, heart, love, care, not place something on it that is your own control or so-called ego power. So very, very wrong in the way of keeping this energy sacred, keeping this energy as a best friend, really, that is there to give blessings to the soul, world, and just a flow of such grace, mystery, wonder, and light. Light, light. Here are some of the visions that flows, flowed this morning. One of the sun with clouds that curved around the lower part of the sun in a U shape. Birds could be seen flying through the clouds. One was viewing this sight up close and personal, very stunning and clear. Then the clouds came forward in a great line and began to be pulled into the sun, the source. And this continued with the clouds vanishing more and more. Then the sun came forward increasingly and grew and grew and seemed to swallow up everything. The next vision was one of a house that began to sway. The ground was moving in a wave. The house looked like it was not going to last long. Behind one of the windows, one could see lights flashing like Shakti. Then one of the walls disappeared and the bedroom with the bed was exposed, the dream. And then the house, bed and all, vanished in the depths of the darkness, substance. Also, there was a cross scene that was falling from an opening in a craggy rock structure in which the light was flooding through, falling and burning, burning, then disappearing into the substance. An image of a body form then manifested and disappeared into this same substance.
This is a very brief update for the moment. And now one simply continues forward into the great unknown and consciously continues to surrender, surrender, surrender. May all be well and enjoy the moment. Great day and om.